What's up, viewers? It's a brand new Geico Girl Code for all of you to watch and enjoy. So kick back, relax, prepare to have a few good laughs. Let the show begin. You're not the committed one. You're not hubby. You're not wifey. You're just something to have fun with when someone's horny. So please, know your role and play your part. It's the side piece. The entree ain't any good without something on the side. It's a dangerous game. It's a filthy game. Disgusting. Nasty. Dirty. Just. Ugh. Ladies slash males. Um, if you're with someone and you know they're in a relationship, you are a side piece. Let's not get that confused. If you're not getting what you want to get at home, you need a fucking new house. In my opinion. Fucking new house? In my opinion. Um, there's no point in leading a chick on that you're going to be with her, be together, and uh, have a piece on the side. That's just point. Like, you don't need to have a full plate and also have a secondary plate. Like, that's being fat. Like, you're fat. You're a fat ass. The pro being you can have sex with the person. But at the same time, you shouldn't be exclusive or have any kinds of regards to see that if in the future, perhaps you all be together because he has a girlfriend or she has a boyfriend. You may have a side piece just because your main bitch just isn't willing to do the things that the side piece is willing to do. That's why Twitter did it, to catch the side piece. They trying to help us out. We over here complaining how it look ugly. It, actually, it do look ugly. I still it don't do, like yeah, it. it still <laughs> Being a side piece really is kind of awesome. I'm not going <laughs> <laughs> to lie to you. Back to I'm not going to lie to you. I'll Being say this, a bro. side piece is so right. great because you get fed, you get your balls emptied, and you don't have to deal with the stress that a girlfriend would give you. There's going to be that one period of time where a side chick is going to want to become wifey. And then she's going to start becoming reckless. Which means she's going to start showing up places. Probably where you and your girl at, or your girl at by herself. And she's probably going to be threatening you, saying that she wants to be wifey. And if you don't do that, she's going to tell your girl. It's different if you didn't know you were the side piece, but you were the side piece. Because technically they didn't tell you were the side piece. But if he told you, oh yeah, that's my girl over there, when she come around, just go over there, or yeah, that's my man, you know, I can't talk to you when he come around, you the side piece. Um, I feel like even as a side piece, you should know your role. Um, of course, yeah. yeah. Don't think you can address me. Don't think you can, you know, just pop up out of the blue at my house one day, because I might be with, right. you know, the boyfriend, mm -hmm. yeah. like, you know. If you are the side piece, male or female, play your role. Play your fucking position. You're the side piece, not the main piece. You're the mashed potatoes, not the chicken. You do not make the meal. To give you more motivation not to have a side piece, all I'm going to say is two words. Donald Sterling. Oof. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, current events. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Sterling's side piece destroyed him in one weekend. That's why you shouldn't have a side piece. If you know that whole story, I don't have a side piece. He lost his team. <laughs> He's probably gonna lose his wife. Yes. Um, he lost 2.5 mil. Yes. So, uh, and I know you regular niggas don't have that much to give. So, uh, you just gonna lose your main broad and perhaps a limp. <laughs> AFC, right? Like, you get some biscuits, you get macaroni and cheese, and you get the chicken. Yeah, you came there for the chicken, the macaroni is good, and the biscuits are good. But at the end of the day, if they tell you, oh, you can only choose macaroni, biscuits, or the chicken, you're going to choose the chicken. Because niggas can be side pieces, too. Like, but the thing about most niggas is we don't care about being a side piece. Like, and, and if anything, I could have a main chick and not, and not mind being your side piece. Like, we both have side piece roles. That, that, that actually sounds like a match right there. If you see me with him, don't come up and talk, start talking. Don't try and come up and give me no hug. We oh, gonna walk by each other. Smile in my face. Don't. Just, just. Nah. Being a side piece is just, just a bad thing. Like, you, I just wouldn't do it. I've done it before. It's, it's taxing. It is, seriously. Uh, when the side piece acts right, <laughs> Be happy with your goddamn breast. 
So if you're the side piece and you're trying to be the main course, you need to leave whoever you with alone because they're not, they obviously made up their mind. They're not going to choose you. My girl come over to the crib. I spend all my money on food and on weed. Side piece come through. She bring the whole three five. Like she bring everything. And is chicken is good, but you kind of need a little something, something, something. Give me something. You need something to make the chicken a meal. What do you use to make chicken a meal? The side piece. You don't, okay, wait, I don't, I. <laughs> you should also know that when you're going into the side piece, you know how crazy position, the main piece yeah, is. Yeah, Cause, yeah. Cause. Yeah, cause they will find out. And if they don't ever find out, cool. But if they do, lucky. yeah, you have to be prepared. Like I, if I was a side piece, I would always travel with some kind of pepper spray or some kind of knife. Just cause you never know. Makeup helps the ladies keep it cute, but some of you guys do go way overboard looking like clowns and whatnot. So let my cast and crew tell, give you a little bit of tips. Here's about girls and their makeup. There are certain times you can wear makeup and there are certain times that you shouldn't. You shouldn't go overboard with it, where it's like your face has this like clown expression. Girl, let that natural beauty flourish. I don't have a problem with makeup. Don't cake it on if you're gonna wear it. But I need the I need the natural beauty. You never know. Sometimes you might just be looking so fine. I'll be like, and I just might come up and lick your face or some shit. Mouth full of makeup. Don't need that. So like guys complain about like caking on makeup, but I promise if you see a girl at 4 a.m. bags under her eyes, crusty lips, got um, those pretty eyelashes that you used to look at, they don't look the same. You appreciate a little makeup. Um, I don't feel as though makeup should make you. You should make the makeup. Like when you put it on, it should be an accent to your already established attractiveness. I do mascara because I look like a little kid without it. I think. Yeah. Okay. So I, I do mascara. Yeah. You wake up the next day and you see that it's no longer on her face on the pillowcase, and you see all the acne that that makeup was covering up. Oh. Ooh. Jesus, Lord have mercy. It's, it's, it, you, you feel like you woke up with a brand new person, not the person that you went to sleep with last night, that's for sure. Is when like your face has a certain skin tone and your neck down is completely different. We don't do that, that's annoying. I, if I can see it, I know you saw it too. So let's try to get your proper skin tone down pack. I know when you have fake eyebrows. All I have to do is do this. Oh, oh my God. Yo. If you're going over your man's house, please don't kick on a whole bunch of foundation. You rolling around on his pillow and that just, it's nasty. Yeah. I'm stuck in a basement sitting on a tricycle. Girl getting on my nerves. <laughs> Going out of my mind, I thought she was fine. Don't know if her face is hers. She can be beautiful, like she got that con contouring going on, the like little highlight and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Just be beautiful. Eyebrows just be snatched just for the gods. And then first cuddle session, first overnight sleepover, she go take her makeup off and he looking like, damn, who hit you? Like, we like, <laughs> I hate the makeup with like chicks, like y'all be on Instagram and y'all see how like a chick that is like, would be like a, a three on a scale of one to 10. Mm -hmm. But then that makeup boosts her up to a seven and they show the processes of how that makeup does that. Like stupid caked up eyebrows, how bitches do that little twirl thing on the end of their eye right here looking like fucking, fucking, what are those Japanese prostitutes called? <laughs> I don't even know. You know what I'm <laughs> So. Then it's the makeup that you don't see. Now that's the makeup you gotta be worried about because that's the makeup that she is trying to hide from you. Like she blended that shit in, you don't know when she's wearing it. And then one day out of the blue, she come out, surprise baby, no makeup. And you're like, what the fuck? This is not what you look like. I'm a big mascara girl. Like if it's not mascara, it's eyeliner. If it's not eyeliner, it's. I had a lipstick phase. A lipstick phase. <laughs> A lipstick phase one time. <laughs> if your eyebrows look like a division symbol, you are doing it wrong. 
square root, my nigga. Your eyebrows can define the square root of 69. It's You're eight doing it wrong. It's a sum. If your eyebrows can bitch press 375, you're doing it wrong. Your eyebrows should not be thicker than your body. Are you like, damn, dude, where your you face too? go? Like, what just happened here? I have no idea. Who are you? Who are you? Oh. Come back looking like a whole new woman, like, in the worst it's way possible. Cute. It's so cute. If you ugly, you cannot hide that. Like, dog, no amount of makeup on the face of this planet will save you from being ugly. I'm ugly. I don't wear makeup, bitch. If you see that I have on a clean white t-shirt, and you know that you have on makeup that day, do not put your face on my shoulder. Because when you weep, when you walk away, and I have this brown stain on my shirt, I'm going to know it was you. And I'm going to be mad. And I'm not going to hug you anymore. It's levels to makeup. It's going out makeup where she got the stuff in her eye. She got the stuff like the eyebrows done. She got like the lipstick, the blush, the all that extra shit. It's everyday makeup where eyeliner, lip gloss. Yeah, that's it. That's everyday makeup. A, a, a smooth nine. And you're a four now? Damn. That's a fade, man. Like those. You're a different person. That means I have rights to punch you. Okay. Especially if it's your side piece, don't let her do it. Don't <laughs> let your <laughs> don't let her do it. Make sure your side <laughs> piece wash it off. Tipper just said some shit. <laughs> Make sure your side piece has no makeup <laughs> when she is in contact with you. Because you do not need your girl to look at you and say, Why do you have foundation on your shirt? And she didn't have on makeup that day. That's an obvious sign that you done been around some other women. That is also a side piece. <laughs> that is also a side piece. Ladies, if you see some makeup where it's not supposed to be and it's not yours, if you see, you know, dark mocha and you know you're like tan or caramel makeup. With your close group of friends, you need to develop tough skin. Don't be a little bitch. If you're going to dish it, you better be able to take it. It's the roasting session. Boy, fire your. <laughs> Play your ass. What? Cleveland guys, roast. I try to stay as far away as possible. Um, not having no ass, like that's the first comment that will probably, you know, come to get me. So I'm over here watching y'all do what y'all do. University has a basketball team. Each one of those basketball players have a talent, and that's the game of basketball. Roasting someone is a talent. I haven't seen roast anyone, but granted, whenever I do see it, it's, it is funny. Be creative. Yeah, be creative. That's be what very I'm creative, especially like for me, I'm tall. Don't make tall jokes, cause I've probably heard them all. Yeah. I'm slim. I'm slim. You know. Roasting session is not for the weak hearted. At all. It is not for the sensitive. Nope. It is not for those who embody light skinnedness. It's not for the butt hurt. You can lose your butt skin. Uh, we're not like bitch. Shut up. It's humorous without having to deframe someone's character. I think that's really mean. If you can't roast, you watch from a distance. Like Stand like probably like behind the first row of people that's in the front I, I because if someone's roasting and you laugh too hard at somebody, if you're laughing in the front and that person gets hurt by your laughing, he can now turn this roasting session on you. And when you get roasted, it ain't like you can just stand there and not say nothing. You gotta come with your best joke. And usually if you can't roast, you only got about one of those. Maybe two at the most. I don't roast often. But when I do, I prefer those eggies. <laughs> that, too. <laughs> if the line of fire does happen to fall on you this day, you cannot get mad when someone flames you and everybody starts to laugh. The best thing to do for yourself it's just a laugh as well. If you ever in your motherfucking life ring up my mother, don't do that. Instant fade on sight. I'll, I'll probably beat your ass and stick your face in. Uh, roasting is slick a form of bullying. If you are a person who is very sensitive, you should probably not partake 
and roasting activities because you're gonna look like a major like douche and then you know nobody's gonna go in and kick it with you like oh yeah we're going out tonight oh yeah don't invite that nigga that nigga almost swung on me that's how I'm roasting on him have you roasted anyone lately? <laughs> me? yes yeah how are you roasting people? <laughs> and my don't name is Chubb I've heard everything you could possibly think about Chubb. So really Chubbs. Were you fat and when you were little? No, I was not. Please be creative. I have yet to hear anyone. I'm sorry, I'm going off on her. Bottom line, roast it. Make sure you got some tough skin. Coops of pop. Damn, pop them here. This is Atlanta. I mean, but they have a lot of game. Uh, okay. It's the filler before the main event of the evening. You gotta get your partner there, if you know what I mean. Okay? We're talking about foreplay oh. <laughs> what was that <laughs> wait <laughs> um, awkward uh, ah. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> foreplay <laughs> foreplay different from i think for the idea of foreplay i think it it's, it differs from men and women. You can't just go in it, just oh. attack. No, you gotta have a plan if you want it to last long. Some people feel like it's needed. Some people say it's not. Granted, I like foreplay. I like, you know, the discreet things as to like, if you're looking at me in a certain type of way, that's just automatically just gonna just like drive me crazy. Um, First of all, foreplay is when you are <coughs> trying to sexually arouse your, I don't know, yeah, your partner, whomever, um, before you all actually have sex. Yeah, it's just getting everything in motion. Mm. Men eat pussy for men. Selfish, yes. <laughs> so, I don't make the rules. I just kind of follow some of them. It's a, I'm just like kind of hungry. Anyway, I'm hungry. <laughs> need that. I eat all day. You gotta pace yourself when it comes to foreplay. Um, I guess my best advice is jack off before she gets over there. Um, you know what I'm saying? Be sure to pee afterwards. You don't want to leave any even two or whatever. Fellas, learn how to do it right. If you cannot uh, eat it, then lick something else, okay? Because I, I promise you, you down there, no, 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 and you don't know what you're doing, it's not doing a damn thing for me. I like the little things. Like, I like the neck grabbing. I like, you know, the grabbing on my ass, the pulling on me kind of thing. And it just like it just makes everything just better. Some people don't like foreplay. Some people just like to just jump, hop, skip right into it. I mean that's cool too. But I mean a little foreplay doesn't hurt no one. Engaged in foreplay and I'm still not where I need to be. Right. I mean I'm trying to help you out too. I'm sure. I'm trying to help your ego out because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings if I you know just so happen to go home. <laughs> she just so happens to just evaporate. My idea of some good foreplay is some fantastic hair. Foreplay for women, buy rose petals, let's light some candles and shit, put on some fucking Sade, you know what I'm saying? Some like some Anita, you know, being all romantic and shit. That's foreplay to them. People don't understand that good verbiage. Mouthpiece. Gift of gab. Mouthpiece. 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 It's not more mine. play. Not mine. Don't believe me? Zaxby's leads to sex, my nigga. Zaxby's is for play as fuck. Uh, American Deli, Zaxby's. Good food. Babe. I might have said, I might have said some shit. A my good life. ass sandwich. With the bread toasted. <laughs> with a henny on with, the rocks. With the henny on the rocks on the side. <laughs> That's for play. That is for play. <laughs> Once you foreplay with someone, it's just like the connection's there. It's more like passionate. You're wet. Like it's just exciting. It's exciting. Oh my gosh! Like sex is just exciting in general. I don't even know what to do. Okay, you guys stop messing around and acting like you don't know the parts of a woman's body. And if you don't, you need to look up a diagram. Google it. Look it up. And then maybe you will find out where it is, because that is where 
That is where you need to go. That's where the that's magic happens. Yeah, yeah, that's where you need to go. Like, like, rule number one, know your girl spots. Mm. That's saying something there. Know your girl spots. You gotta know your, you gotta know what your shorty likes, B. You gotta know what she likes. You gotta know what her sweet spots are. You gotta know what gets her going. You gotta know what gets the vagina. Now, if you're just trying to get a little quickie in, you know, you might want to, I don't know how you do that. But if you're trying to get it in real good, you're trying to, like, make the person that you with, like, really feel it, you you got to attack it with a logical head and, like, with a plan. You need foreplay. The longer foreplay is, the better it is for a woman, the worse it is for a man. Because while all this foreplay I'm giving you is getting you in the, re in the mood ready to have sex with me, all this foreplay I'm giving you, my dick has been hard for the past two hours waiting to have sex with you. And as soon as my dick touches you, it's over. I come. Want to know what else is foreplay? And I bet you I didn't think about this. And you probably did, but I'm going to tell you what. Make sure you smell good. Love that. They love that. They love you smell good? good? I was just about to say. You know how much Nigga, pussy I've got. You didn't have to say or do home. shit. You didn't have to say or do shit. You smell good? You're, you're, you're more than halfway in the door. Already. Or play, my nigga. On the next episode of Guy Code, Girl Code, we talk about being whipped. Nigga, if you don't want to be whipped by your girl, <laughs> yeah, the yeah, fuck? Yeah. The art of wearing heels. Don't wear heels if you can't walk in them. Please, stop it. Cut it out. Yes. Stop it. Stop yes. it. PDA. Like, getting so firm you know grabs. That's I'm getting mine. the slaps. Like, the slaps that even may hurt you a little bit, but that's my ass. So, like, <laughs> fuck it. The friend zone. Some people just need to be content. Like, you either, right? Like, you know, sometimes if you're not in the friend zone, you're just not in that person's life. Like. <laughs> so, tune in, guys, next week to a brand new episode of Guy Code Girl Code. Like, hold on a second. Yeah. Hold up. Nigga, we're shooting. I'm I'm shooting Gakko Goko right now, girl. Let me uh let me hit you back. Alright. Somebody give me a cup. Fill me up. Nick, I need to do those cost stuff. <laughs> <laughs>